Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Season Ewa, the platform where we speak truth to power. We're back again. Um, we want to talk about um, the ruling uh, in favor of Natasha Koti Udogan. Um, she accused the uh, governor Yaya yeah. of uh, attempting to take her life. Let us hear her um, her words on this um, on her becoming, you know being elected in Kogi State. Now, let's hear her words. All right, then. Let's speak with uh, the winner of that uh, case, which the appeal court ruled on today. I'm being joined mm -hmm. by Senator-elect Natasha Akoti Uduagan, who joins us live here in our Abuja studio. Thank you so much indeed, and congratulations Thank for you. your victory. Good evening, Shion. Twice lucky now, isn't it? <laughs> You say so? Yes, it is. You I am won at twice the trial court, lucky. now you're winning at the appellate court. Yes. Um, good evening, Nigerians. Uh, thanks for having me, Shil. Um Yeah, I, up until I was declared the winner, I still wasn't absolutely sure that I was going to have the appellate court grant me victory. Because, I mean, this is Nigeria. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I would pretty much wish you had not played the governor's message right here because I'm just getting to watch it now. I just brought a ray of emotions. Mm. He said this is politics, this is the beauty. This is not the beauty of politics. You don't endanger people. You don't set out to kill people. You don't destroy properties. You don't frustrate the electoral process is just because you want your candidate to win and call it the beauty of democracy. Those are That's not it. The of something the governor wanted to kill. I mean, everybody that, in Nigeria. There evidence to that? I had guns. I had his hunchman shoot at my vehicle. I have video evidence of that. Oh, and you are sure I'm telling that you, you it was the immediate pass. Is... They, were, they were adorned in APC shirts. And one of them was Amoka. He was actually the returning officer for OK local government. He led a group of 10 men to shoot at me. I have the videos capturing that. Why that is, is it? So Apart from well, that, you the governor actually cut roads. Yeah. Jean, please let me speak. Go ahead, please. The governor, a day to elections, he cut five, he dug gullies, cutting five roads. That was just to prevent elections from taking place. I'm probably endangering my life. This was a day to elections. Thank God we had the payloader and we, I went all night. We had to cover the gullies so the election can take place. I don't think we're here today to speak about what happened mm. and what transpired. We're going to have more time when we're forging um, ways to advance democracy and sanitize the electoral space. But I'll say this today. I'm pretty much in a mourning mood because two days ago we lost our His Royal Majesty, the Ohinoya of Iberia land. He was like a father to me. I've known him pretty much all my life. And I wish he was alive to witness this day because he was a pillar. He was persecuted, he was attacked for my sake. His palace was bombed. <laughs> wow. And he was at the point of being deposed, if not for the intervention of uh, the immediate past president, Buhari. <laughs> a lot went on that we couldn't even put before the media because it was more like, I didn't want to seem as if I was every day crying for help. I wanted to show strength. I didn't want people to or, or discourage pe other women like me from entering politics and thinking, oh, wow. it's too violent, it's too volatile. I had to show strength. That is why I did not tell every part of this story, everything I went through. It was so much more than the world knows. But that being said, I thank God today, and I really praise the judiciary for having the courage to stand forth through the events that took place and going through the documents diligently and affirming me as the winner. And that is where I would like to celebrate from. And also, I'm going to take it that before our king died, His Royal Majesty, the winner of Iberland, I was with him two weeks ago in the hospital where he laid frail. And he smiled. He acknowledged the fact that we won at the tribunal. And I'm trying to find a silver lining in that, that he laid to his... He, 
has gone to heaven knowing that his efforts did not go to waste. As of today, we are hoping to get the um, certificate of return from INEC and as soon as possible get sworn into the tent uh, Senate so I can start working for my people because this means a whole lot for everybody there. We all suffered and the reason why people across party lines turn out and mass to vote me was like a movement. I mean, we won four local governments on ground. If there was election in the fifth, which is okay, I bet you Shenwe would have won because the people across party lines, religion, gender, just wanted a deal. Wow. So, so about that. So, yes, um, just wanted to just quickly, quickly put that there. Um, very, very powerful statement by Natasha Akuti. Um, there's not much to say else. Um, you know, a threat was made to her life. She's uh, through that, thankfully. And, uh, you know, I mean, she's a fighter. She's a fighter, uh, you know. And I'm glad that she really is, um, you know, she's standing. And, uh, yeah, condolences to to her for the loss of the the king of the mother you know in, in in their area and may so rest in peace um and uh you know he, that, that she survived this ordeal and that uh, she was able to i mean to just um for your ability to say that's that's the beauty of the game that's not beauty and this is that these are the kind of things that why we're justified in saying that nigeria is not a democracy and until the people begin to participate, and thankfully the people participated in the elections, but in what they need to participate in, it's of course what I've been talking about from day one. And you all know what I'm about to do next. I think many of you who are with me, you know where I'm going next. As soon as I start saying that, you know, you will know. You should by now know what I'm doing. And because I'm going to give you evidence to back up what we need to do, just to remind all of us that this is where we need to do. Uh, we, we, the steps we need to take. I, I might want to encourage you to know, to know your rights. You know. So what do I mean by knowing your rights? This is what I mean. This is uh, exactly what I mean. I'm going to just uh, let me steady the sheep, as it were, uh, and, and give you this information. You need to have a copy of this. If you haven't got a copy of this, take a screenshot. And of course, you can see on the on the on here, uh, you will see uh, the the logo for. The website we have the Nigerian Constitution in Yoruba language on www.citizenly.org. On there, it is translated into Yoruba. You can use it right now. Um, uh, you know, for limit, we'll see how we, you know, how far we do it. We might change things, but for now, we want to keep that there so that everybody in Yoruba land can have access to it and read their own constitution in their own language. That's the first thing we must do. Um, I'm gonna, I'm showing you on the screen now. In English, but I'm actually going to start in Yoruba. Uh, start with 1428. That's in Yoruba language. Now I'm going to say it in English because English should always come second behind our language. The parties, uh, sovereignty belongs to the people of Nigeria from whom the government, through this constitution, derives all its powers and authority. That's what you see on the screen. Now, the second part again, I'm going to start again in Yoruba. Which means the participation by the people in the government shall be ensured in accordance with the provisions of this constitution, as you see on the screen. So it's really important to not, it's not about voting alone. It's about also voting is just one tiny aspect of this whole thing. You need to begin to participate in the government. And the powers under section 14 to see particularly it is based on the fact that you're a sovereign which is guaranteed under 14 to a and use your powers of sovereignty to hold your governors to account and it is in doing so that it will actually eliminate all these politicians trying to oh beauty of the game nonsense i mean I, I, because they know that they, 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 they they're not going to face any um uh, any you know they, they, they carry out their actions with impunity and we need to put a stop to it it is by us actively participating in our governance collectively as sovereigns will the politicians sit tight and know no the people are not going to accept this 
and that's why we are translating the constitution into our local languages for our people to understand go straight to www.citizenay.org on there you will see the nigerian yoruba your nigerian constitution in yoruba under the boat the line it will fee 1999 near the yoruba and i'm going to run through that with you just now so let me just quickly pull that to one side and come back here and we're going to show you exactly what i mean you're going to see it on the screen let me just quickly do this for you i'm going to type it here www you see as soon as i do this it knows it already because i'm so let me just put that there no i want to just say uh, www because they know where i'm going if you like they already know as soon as they see that so you're going to see i want you to see it on the screen so i've typed www so you see there that's that's citizenway.org so now we type on that and what happens it takes us to the proposed web, website so you do this and you simply uh let me i want to make sure you can see this sorry about this uh you can't see it but anyway so you just simply scroll down you are on the website now so you scroll down scroll down you scroll down till you get to where you see the key that is you see that key above it is this thing let me just move that closer for you because i want you to see it you see there it will fin nigeria it will fin 1999 near the yoruba so that is the one you click you click on there once you click on it then it brings the constitution up for you to to peruse and then you can then go and do and play around with it and the words are in there you can see i'm just showing you so that's where you need to go to look at the constitution i hope this uh, makes sense we need to begin to use it's in our local languages i've done up to section 53 i'll be doing more um, but i'm just giving you so yeah, you know exactly what what we need to do and how we're going to achieve this together collectively so there's a lot of work for us all to do uh we need to participate in our governance that is definitely um the course best course of action we can take um, but of course again i reiterate and i remind you that um these powers here are what we must exercise the powers are contained within that constitution by the way but um you know these are the two key ones that you need to know so uh, please let's act on that and congratulations to natasha Akoti on winning that election uh you know facing down terror and actually winning through with the support of uh sorry about that. i don't know what happened there let me just make sure i get that correct with the support of the royal uh of, of the of the people around her and uh, having st on you know belief in 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 her and her you know and the, the people really have utter and you know so much belief in her uh, it comes across in what she's saying so uh, i just wanted to just put that across so here we are so that's natasha right there sorry one second yeah so that's natasha right there and uh we just want to just say congratulations to her um despite the attempts by yahaya believe to try and disrupt her she's still standing and uh yeah congratulations to her and she's going to start as a new senator for i think kogi central if i'm correct i'm not quite sure uh, and i'll check that but anyway we'll you know she's gonna be uh, she she's won you know on two different occasions um in the courts and and then affirmed and now so she's gonna start in that post so congratulations to her but um yeah you see the video there so thank you so much for watching you've been watching citizen ay the platform where we speak truth about what i'd like you to do is go ahead and subscribe to citizen ay subscribe hit the notification button give us thumbs up and help us reach more people we truly need your support thank you so very much for watching you've been watching citizen ay the platform where we speak truth power to get a copy or to be able to read the, this constitution in your in Yoruba language, just go to www.citizenewa.org. It's on the screen. It's scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Today being the uh, 1st of November, 2023. Um, so those are the information we have. Once again, congratulations to Natasha Akoti Wagwan. I think it is, uh, if I'm saying it correct, I hope. Udagwan, Udohan. Uh, Natasha Akoti Udohan. Congratulations to her. And uh, yeah, um, we'll come back and talk about other issues later on. Uh, but of course, you're watching this is why the platform where we speak truth to power. Uh, please, the song here in the background, How Long Will I Go to Suffer? It's a song I wrote. Uh, it's about the, cons the, the, uh, the problems we face. Now we need to take collective action together. And I urge us all to join hands and begin to participate in our governance on a daily basis. And we will talk you the process that, we, that we're going to use to do that. We need our active participation. In, and having the constitution in our, in our local languages is a must. Thank you so very much. You've been watching this is the platform where we speak truth to power. I'll be back later on. Thank you and bye for now.